Welcome to this evening yoga flow. Within this practice, we'll be focusing on releasing residual tension stored in the hips throughout the day. This is an all levels practice, so from time to time you'll hear me offer different options so that you can make the pose your own. When you're ready, we'll begin in child's pose. So taking the knees wide, big toes touch. Walk the hands forwards and lower yourself down. And we'll begin the practice pausing here for the first few moments. Give yourself permission to completely let go into the ground, to take the weight off. Let go of anything that you've been carrying today. Turn the head to the left and thread the right arm under the left. Release the right arm. Turn the head to the right and thread the left arm under the right. Release the left arm. And walk your hands into your body. Rest your hands on your knees or your thighs and roll the head from left to right. Going a few times in a half circular motion. And then full circle if it feels good. Bring the head into neutral, flicker the eyes open if they're closed. Then walk the hands forwards, come into your tabletop. Turn the fingers to face the sides of the mat and start by rocking from left to right. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. And each time you rock from one side to the other, spend a little bit of time on that side, just applying pressure through the wrists. Flip the hands so that the fingers face one another. And again, rocking side to side spending a little bit of time on each side. Turn the hands so fingers face forwards. Extend the right leg. And then sweep the right leg out to the right side. Lift the leg, sweeping it over to the left. You could gaze over left shoulder to look for the foot. Continue sweeping the leg from right to left. The next time the foot comes over to the right side, plant it there. Walk the hands to the foot and fold over your leg.
Walk the hands forwards, pick up the right leg, bend the knee and cross the right knee behind the left. Open the feet wide to create space and then sit back in that space. If this is too much for the knees, then you can always straighten the leg that is underneath. Then there's the option to rest the hands on the knees or you could reach the right arm up and bend the arm and then reach the left arm down, bend the arm so that both hands draw towards one another. They don't have to meet. You could always hold onto your clothing and soften the eyes closed. Come back to that place within you. Release the bind if you're there. We'll rock forwards to come back to tabletop. Reset the legs. Then extend the left leg back. Sweep the leg out to the left. And then over to the right, gazing over the right shoulder to look for the foot. Keep this going a few times. The next time the foot comes over to your left, hold it there, walk the hands over to the foot and fold over your leg. Walk the hands forwards, then lift the left leg, bend the knee and cross the knee behind your right. Open the feet wide to create space and sit back in that space. Just like last time, you could extend the leg that is underneath. Option to rest hands on knees or reach the left arm up, bend the arm, reach the right arm down and bend the arm so that the hands draw towards one another. Close your eyes, turn your attention inward. Release the bind if you're there. Walk your hands forwards, come back into tabletop. Then lower down to your belly. Bring the forearms to the mat for support. Burn the right leg and the right hand will reach back to catch the foot. Then draw the foot in towards the body. You can start to internally rotate right shoulder so that the right elbow points up and the right fingers turn towards the front of the mat. Release the hold of the foot, but keep the bend in the knee. Bring your hands under your shoulders, push the floor away and roll to the left side. Place the right foot behind you and turn around so that you face your legs. Open the right knee to your side, bring the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Then reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale to fold forwards. You can rest your hands on the mat for support. Relax, chin to chest. Lift your chest. Turn to your left, roll back onto your belly. Using the forearms for support, bend the left leg, left hand will catch the foot. Then internally rotate the left shoulder and turn the left fingers to face forwards. Elbow will point up. Mm -hmm. 
Release the hold of the foot, but keep the bend in the leg. Bring the hands under your shoulders and roll to the right side of your body. Place the left foot behind you as you turn around. Then open your knee to the side. Bring your foot to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Relax, chin to chest. Come back to your breath. Lift your chest, then roll onto your belly. And press back up into tabletop. Tucking the toes, lift the hips. Find your way to downward dog. Option to pedal out the legs when you arrive here. Then looking to the top of the mat, you can hop, step or jump to forward fold. Exhale all the breath out in your fold. There's also the option to have a generous bend in the knees. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, right foot steps back, lower the knee for low lunge. Place the left hand by your side and reach the right arm over to the left. Reach through the right arm as you bend to the left. Tilt your head to your left shoulder. Lift the chest, relax the right arm by your side. Then fold over the right side of your mat so that your back knee has support. Right hand will reach back to catch the back foot. And just like we practiced a few moments ago, internally rotate the left shoulder and turn your hand so that your fingers face the front of your mat and your elbow points back. And start to press your foot in close to the back of your body. Option to sink the hips down towards the left heel. Slowly release the foot with control and you can unroll the side of the mat. And coming into lizard, option to stay up on your hands or come down to the forearms if that's available. Step to plank. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale through to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Look to the top of your mat. You could hop, step or jump the feet to the hands. Exhale all the breath out in your fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot steps back to low lunge. Place the right hand by the right side and reach the left arm up and over to the right. Coming into a side stretch. Relax the right ear towards the right shoulder. Lift your chest, relax the left arm by your side. Then roll over the left side of your mat to pad the back knee. Left hand will reach back to catch the foot. 
and start by internally rotating the left shoulder and spinning the fingers to face the front of the mat so that the elbow points back. Start to press the foot into the back of your body and you can allow the hips to sink down or forwards towards the right heel. Slowly release the foot. Unroll the side of the mat and come into lizard. Finding any variation that works for you. Then stepping back to plank. Lowering down to the mat. Inhale, find your butt bend of choice. Exhale, down dog. Looking to the top of the mat, hop step or jump the feet to the hands. Exhale, all the breath out in your fold. Inhale, round the spine, roll up to stand. Then turn to face the side of your mat, step your feet wide. Bend the right knee, sweep the hips towards the right heel as you lower down. You can use your hands for support here. If you'd like to go one further, turn out the right foot and spin on the left heel so toes point up as you sink the hips to the right heel for Skandasana. Hands can stay on the mat or hands could come to prayer. And use your hands here for support as you sit your hips down. Now there's the option to keep the right leg bent like so, or you could bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, allowing the leg to lower down. So find what works best for you. And bring the left hand by the inside of the left foot. Right arm will reach up, inhale. Exhale, bend towards the left leg. And there's the option to catch the left foot with the right hand. Slowly release, we'll lift back up into that straddle position. Then bend the left knee, sweep the hips towards the left side. Option to stay here, option to turn out the left foot. Lift the right toes up, sink the hips towards the left heel for Skandasana. And you can either bring hands into prayer or keep the hands on the ground for support. Use your hands as you sit your hips down. Just like before, you can either keep the left leg as it is or you could bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh so that the leg lowers down for support. Then bring the right hand to the inside of the right leg. Left arm reaches up, inhale. Exhale as you bend to your right. Left hand can reach towards the right toes. Slowly lift up and extend the left leg to come into a seated straddle. Bring the hands in between the legs. With an inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. 
As you exhale, start to walk the hands forward, slowly lowering yourself into a fold. No pressure to go all the way. Just find a place that works for you today. Turn your attention inward. Come back to your breath. Slowly lift back up. Bring the legs together and come and lie down on your back. As you lie down, hug the knees into your chest. Then open the knees wide. And take a gentle rock side to side. Option to catch the feet to find happy baby. And if you're in happy baby, there's also the option to extend both legs. Rebend the legs, bring the knees together. Then draw both knees over to the left side of the body to come into a twist. And the right arm can reach to the right side. If it feels okay for the neck, gaze over the right shoulder. Lift the knees, take them over to the right side of the mat. Reach the left arm out to the left side, option to gaze over the left shoulder. Lift the knees back up and extend both legs to find Shavasana. Relax your arms by your side. Allow yourself to take up space and settle into stillness.
a poem by Erin Hansen called Human. Let me tell the tale of a girl who didn't stop, who climbed up every mountain without a pause upon the top. She'd dance until each blade of grass was clothed in drops of dew, and the sun knew her by name, but the silver moon did too. For a fear had settled in her bones, a fear of sitting still, that if you're not moving forward, it must mean you never will. So in time her dance got slower, and she looked at all she'd seen, but found gaps inside the places that she'd never fully been. For she was a human doing, human moving, human seeing, but she'd never taken time to simply be a human being. Deepen your breath. Start to move your fingers and toes. Hug the knees into your chest. And roll onto your side. Join me in a seated position when you're ready. Just keeping the eyes closed for now. Settling into a comfortable seat. Taking these final few moments of this class to soak in the effects of the practice. Perhaps taking a moment of gratitude or a moment to set an intent for the rest of your day or the following day. When you're ready, flick your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope that it's left you feeling relaxed and hopefully like you let go of any of the tension that you have built up over the day. Thank you again for your time. I'll see you again for the next one.